Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Equinite Beyond. I'm your host, Gamadarius. Last we left off, we have saved, oh, I think, to be the last couple of people that needed saving. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Um, best way to figure this out is, I think, going to Kenneth, all the way back in the studio. Which means I'm going to have to do a little bit of... <sighs> Post me fix this. I suppose in hindsight, I probably could have just, you know, done this before the episode started, but eh. How would you know that I needed to collect the battery before coming back here? So, now that I have the observatory key, I can actually go to the observatory. Yes. Which was this way. I was thinking all these other keys that I had were the way to open it up. Turns out that it's the end of the freaking game. That stone was the beginning of everything. And that's what you will face in the end. What you will wish, and how your wish will be granted. I'm looking forward to seeing it through. Oh yeah. Come to my room one last time. The picture's done. Okay, so besides giving my own heart a uh, quick jump start, that is the indicator that I have in fact freed all the ghosts. But we're not going to go over there just yet. Just not yet. One last time. Going to the observatory to go. Oh, hey, is this where I actually need to go? The answer is yes. This time. That's an impressive key. All right. And this is a pitiful part where we choose our endings.
Oh. I, uh, think that counts as the worst ending. Which makes a whole lot of sense. Alright, now the next one. For the record, I can't skip any of the scene right up to this decision making, so. I kind of like that ending. I mean, you know, despite the fact that she's dead. All right, on to the next one. That stone was the big and what? I'm look, oh, the pic Yep, picture's done. Just, how old of a robot are you that you're moving that slow? Legitimate question. 
yeah, uh, you can't get these uh, next two endings without saving all the ghosts, which I'm kind of glad that I went through the extra effort of doing first. Because uh, the gal in the lunar graveyard would have been right pain in the ass to do. Um. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, Kenneth, buddy. Okay. There'd be something on here for me. Think? Hmm. Oh. Master key. Label on the front reads elevator security. I can go to basement. Oh no, I can go to basement too. Yet. Something else on here? Anything else? Memory kids. Okay. I, uh. Hmm. Uh, let me just double read this, making sure. Okay. I think I could have done this at the very, very start of this episode. But I really wanted to make sure that I had, um... You know, I got the first two times. And now we're just gonna go back through to the residential area and to... The elevator. Why the elevator, you might ask? Well, because life sucks. I mean, that area is clear. But I don't know about the place below it. There's a thing. Hmm. We'll see then, now, won't we? A little bit of paranoia. Access granted. Releasing lock. I probably I'm not gonna like this. I can like this in a bit. One go bit. God, the suspense is killing me now. Oh goody, we're here. Well, it's dark. I don't see no, uh... Boo. Ghosts. Or fog. Guess the fog is what I'm most worried about. Uh-huh. Hi. Are you still living? Mummified body of a man. Oh. Let her dress to Claudia. Delicately shaped ring. Hold up. What does this letter say? My dearest Claudia, it's been a while since I last wrote you. I hope things are well. We continue to face new challenges every day, but I'm determined to see it through. As you know, building a lunar facility has a dream both has was a dream both my father and I shared. I have every intention of making sure the project is a success. I realized my leaving just before our, the wedding was abrupt. Oh, dude. It must have hurt you terribly, but as soon as everything is in order here, I will come for you straight away. Please be patient just a little while longer, my dear. I'll write to you again soon. Richard Osmond. Ah, oh, dude. Dude. Mm. 
Richard, man. Ah. On her wedding day? On your wedding day? Really? That's what you decide to do. Dude. Man. That hits in a way I probably shouldn't hit as a single dude. But still, dude. On her wedding day. I'm trying to find the logic in that. It's failing me. Dude! There's a great many things that you can and can't do. Sticking... Just leaving your fiancé... At the altar on the wedding day. Oh my lord. Has a certain level of dude, screw you. you kind of deserve what all this hell that you're putting yourself through now. Except even then, like if the wish was to make this whole colony thing a successful thing, it failed in the end because now everyone's dead. If it seems like I'm harping on this, it's because, dude, everyone's dead. <sighs> 51 saves. I mean, I probably could have just not saved. Made an even flat 50, but eh. But then the 50 would have been cool. Alright. Here we go again. Except Kenneth isn't going to be there to be all like, hey, come to my studio. Check out my painting. I wonder if the real life Kenneth actually had a passion for painting like uh, Android Kenneth did. I don't know. And honestly, don't know if we'll ever know. Okay. Here we are. Second last time. Bloop.
kind of find it interesting that they actually do have androids with their own like sentience in this. So this might be interesting. That leads to some questions. Some of them very meta in nature, but still. All right. One more ending. The fourth and final ending of this game.
And that still hits. In a way that I think it probably shouldn't have hit me as a single dude. That was Echo Knight Beyond. Oh, man. From Software still knows how the hell to... Well, even back, I suppose even back in the days, From Software knew how the hell to make their own, you know, to tell their stories. Especially if they wanted to keep everything a mystery. Which, I mean, to be fair, everything was pretty much still a mystery. And, uh... Yeah. The story with this was pretty damn fantastic. I mean, there's still a couple of things that have me confused, like... How do they build androids in this universe to the point where they need oxygen and such? Uh... But, I don't know. I, I guess they... And with actual, like, AI at that. Uh, that's a very meta thing that, you know, thinking too hard on the fashion. Especially when you're thinking of uh, the story from the same developers that made freaking Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Dark Souls? Dark Souls. Um, as a game, it was fun. It was definitely far more of a horror game at the very start of the game when you're, you know, trying to piece together all this stuff, how the game works, where to avoid the fog, how to get through the fog the best fashion possible. And, um, yeah, pretty chill. Uh, after that, to be honest, once you've cleared out all the fog and then you're just trying to find where it is that uh, you need to do all the things. And to that end, quite a bit of this was cryptic. Uh, I won't lie. Like, if you want to beat the game, you don't have to worry about any of the ghosts. Uh, well, not any of the ghosts, but you just have to worry about specific ghosts. Um... Like, you don't have to worry about the ghosts in the, uh... I so see, you don't have to go all the way to the shuttle to get the VIP shit. You don't have to go to get the, uh... You don't have to go get the keys and whatnot. You do have to get the, the chemical com compounds, which... By the way... <laughs> I want to point out how silly easy it is to miss that chemical compound. Um... Like, you would have to really, really, really look for, not the chemical compound, but the uh, ice area that you melt down with the chemical compound. Like, you would have had to scour for absolutely anything and everything to get that compound. And, um, and nowhere on those compounds did it say, oh, get super hot. It just says, do not mix. That's about it. And, um... Not much you can do with that information. Do not mix. Okay. I gotta mix this, but where do I mix it? I don't know. It says, do not mix. That's about it. This is all we know. But other than that, I don't know. I guess my biggest gripe is some of it's, uh... Cryptic bullshit that it pulls with that. Um, like I had seen, I had seen where the hell the thing was. I can it. Uh, the music box was, but I couldn't get it because apparently androids don't have knees. I guess. Um. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's pretty much my biggest complaint is that it was proper spooky for about the first like 10, maybe 12 episodes. And then it was pretty much just, all right, where's the ventilation thingy? Area's cleared. How do I fix the ghost's problem? That's about, it. that's, that's about it. And from there, it was just a creepy atmosphere, but not actually, you know, uh, suppressive, ang anxious-causing atmosphere. It was just 
is creepy because it's dark and you need to solve everything before your batteries run out which after a fashion you didn't get all the batteries that you should need like I was only I was being careful with the batteries at the end and just waiting for my battery to run low because I have no clue whether or not they you know get the full charge or like you know have the charge from the last battery remaining and then it goes into the next battery and characters wise it has a plethora of them like look at all this cast look at all these characters some of them you know for like five seconds some of them you know for like forever in the case of like the six astronauts Nikolai included there's the creepy girl that tries to kill you at the start of the game because of course there's always going to be a ghost girl and some of them have legitimately sad stories some of them are just you know they were lonely some of them were just I wanted to be with this one person some of them were just hey I don't want to go to the after like afterlife uh sober I guess like most of these guys were generally likable that that bastard screw you mr. zero gravity guy but I think that's me ranting enough about this game I liked it plenty creepy towards the start of the game when you had no clue what to do once you do then it's mostly just a mystery puzzle game at that point Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I enjoyed playing it. It was a really good time. Uh, despite the times where my own heart rate jumped 300 beats per minute. In which case, that was not a good time. If you guys like this series, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Helps out the channel a whole lot. And uh, if you want to assist the channel in some sort of financial fashion, I do have a Patreon and a Streamlabs link down in the description below every little bit helps helps out the channel helps me out and for the most part all of it goes right back into the channel via hardware and software um and sometimes it'll also pay for my lunch so that's a plus too thank you everyone so very much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video take care cheers you are still the coolest nikolai <laughs>